Alright guys, today's video is going to be on the Droid Bionic and I'm going to show you guys how to install um, Eclipse. Just got released, it's an Eclipse ice cream sandwich run for the Droid Bionic. Really excited about it, I really do love uh, Eclipse ROMs. So I'm just going to show you a couple pre things you have to have done. One is you have to have a uh, root or a super user. Um, so you have to have that on your device and you have to have SafeStrap uh, 3 installed also which is right here and that application is running this is actually uh, my stock ROM I'm on right here um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and power off make sure you have already have the uh, ROM downloaded onto your SD card on this device along with um, knowing where it's at on the device. So if you download it, it's most likely in your download folder. Um, so we're gonna reboot back on, and SafeStrap splash screen is gonna come up, and we're gonna enter SafeStrap by pushing our menu button down here in the bottom corner. So we'll hit that. Um, this is gonna boot us into SafeStrap 3, which is based off of Twerp Recovery and we're going to install this ROM. So right now I'm on stock. You can see up here in the very top it says ROM slot stock. We're going to hit boot options. And I already have codename Android on my first ROM slot. I'm going to go with ROM slot 2 and we're going to activate it. So we'll hit it. I'm going to give it a gig of data and I'm going to create that. Um, if you already have a ROM slot created, you don't have to do this step, but I'm going to let this create. It's probably going to take about five minutes, and I'll come back to you, and we'll get to the rest of the install here. All right, that just finished. We have our ROM slot created, so I'm actually going to click on it, and then we're going to set nickname, and we're going to back up here, and we're going to go ROM Eclipse. So let me type in Eclipse, and that's just so that I know what, what I'm looking at. It actually didn't even do all of it, but that's, well, let's see here. I'm going to wipe it all off. We'll do Eclipse. There's a 10 li uh, digit space no, limit here. So Eclipse. There we go. I like that better. So then hit go. Alright. So we can hit back. And now you can see it's called Eclipse right there. And you can also tell that we're up here on the top. It says ROM slot. ROM slot 2 right here is what's active right now. And you're also highlighted in green. So we can go back. Um, so now anything you do in, in SafeStrap 3 slash Terp Recovery will affect that ROM slot only. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into wipes. And we're going to wipe our cache. That's done. Delvic. That's done. And we're going to do a factory reset just really quick. And that's done. So we can back out. And then we can go to installs. And um, I've got to find where my ROM is at. And it's right here under Ice Cream Sandwich ROMs. That's where I put it. And here it is. Uh, Bionic Eclipse version 1.0 zip. So we're going to select that. Make sure it's what's right there, which it is. And we're going to flash it. Um, on this build, we actually do not have to flash G-gaps, Ice Cream Sandwich G-gaps, because they're included in the ROM, which is very nice. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. Basically after this step's done, we're just going to go back and uh, reboot the device and we're going to boot up under this ROM slot 2 up here at the top. Um, and if you ever want to go back to stock, you can just come back in here, change your boot options and go back to stock and you'll boot stock. Um, SafeStrap 3 is absolutely amazing. I love it. Hashcode, the developer on this thing is top notch. This thing is great. He's going to keep increasing development on it and I'm super excited to see how he, he keeps up on this thing. Um, guys, really, if you like using SafeStrap, donate to Hashcode. Go on there. I'm going to put some links in the description of the video so you guys can uh, find his donate button along with Nitroglycerin33 which is the developer of Eclipse. Um, really seriously, you guys support our devs doing this stuff that's quite amazing on these phones. Alright, so here we go. That installed. Basically, what we got to do is reboot system. So you hit that button, and it's going to reboot in ROM slot 2 because that's the one we have active right now. Um, I'm going to watch the boot animation here, but after that, we're going to pause again. I'm going to go through some setup on Eclipse, and then I'll show you Eclipse on uh, the Bionic here. So let's just see our boot animation. So this is our splash screen right here. 
Um, you can just let it go past or you can hit the search button down here if you want. Uh, so let's see here. Let's see what we got for boot animation. Just because I love seeing uh, different cool boot animations. And it is... Ooh. That's pretty cool. Haven't seen that one before. Nice. Nice. Very sweet. So Nitroglycin33 did a real cool boot animation for you guys there. So I'm going to let this load and uh, we'll get back to it. Alright guys, we have fully booted up here. Um, I've gone ahead and put in all of my account information on it and uh, <clears throat> kind of logged into Gmail and all that kind of stuff for it. Um, so, let's just kind of show you some of the interface of it. We are using Eclipse Launcher. Let's see which version of that it is actually. Go to Settings. Clip Launcher right here. Yeah, Eclipse Launcher is what it is. Uh, normally, a lot of times he has Eclipse Launcher too. I think it's just normal Eclipse Launcher there. That is our launcher for it. Um, here you go. You got some drop downs right here across the top, which is nice. I very much like that feature. Also, you can see down here under system version, we are running basically the official uh, system version, which is 6.7.2. 246 which is the official uh, ice cream sandwich stock version for the droid bionic um, except for he's kind of recompiled it with uh, your eclipse launcher there um, otherwise the rest of these settings look pretty much standard um, this tether mobile hotspot I think has been added onto the uh, settings here that's a new thing there um, see what else we got here also you can see your app drawer has got some changes in it like you have uh, DSP manager built in um, along with your super sue and your terminal um, the rest of this looks pretty much stock from what I can see uh, everything is fully functional in here that I've seen I don't see any issues with it at all um, basically it's just a custom stock ROM is basically kind of the way you could explain it. It's basically your stock ROM customized by Eclipse. Um, that's kind of the reason, one of the reasons I like Eclipse so much is uh, his, his all his ROMs from, from Nitroglycerin here, 33, all his ROMs are very um, functional. There's pretty much no problems with them because he bases them pretty much on stock and just tweaks them. Uh, so anyway, uh, pretty nice. I do uh, very much like it. You can tell it's just fast, smooth, standard. You know, toggles up top is <clears throat> a very nice customization for it. Get into settings here and check out your settings. Um, I'm sure he'll be expanding on this and doing more with it. Um, this is just like his first official build for the Droid Bionic on Ice Cream Sandwich. So um, keep watch on him. But uh, I definitely like it. I'm going to be playing around with it some more. Uh, see if I can find any other custom settings. I didn't see anything else to it. Um, but definitely nice and smooth and uh, runs, runs quite well. So again, guys, I'm going to give you guys some links to uh, Nitroglycerin's webpage along with Hashcode's uh, webpage. And definitely hit those guys up. And if you really like their work, uh, give them a nice donation, five bucks, something like that. Um, help those dudes out. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. But uh, that's it, guys. That's how to install the new uh, Eclipse ROM, uh, ice cream sandwich ROM, on the Droid Bionic using SafeStrap. I uh, appreciate you guys watching, and we will catch you guys next time. Thank you.